All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Bestie Book Reviews. I'm here with obviously my bestie, Mandy. I think you're on, I think you're on this side of me this time. Maybe it'll be this side. I'm not sure. And then on the other side of me, we have Karen Crompton, who's one of our favorite authors. She's joining us from um, Australia. She's joining us from tomorrow, basically. I am. <laughs> from the future. <laughs> yes. yeah, she's joining us from the future. So, yay! <laughs> Hey, hi, thank you so much for having me. That's this is so much fun. I'm so glad to catch up with you girls again. I know it's awesome to see. It's been yes. like almost a whole year. Yes, it has been almost a whole year since we were in Seattle. Yes, it has yes. been. Well, we are so honored to have you be our first author on mm -hmm. our channel. So thank you. Oh, yeah. my pleasure. Absolute pleasure. <laughs> so what do you got going on there, Mandy? I have questions. <laughs> But uh -oh. I have my own question first. I am curious, okay. will we see you at any book signings in the United States? At this stage, no. Um, not at the moment. I'm, we just did Queensland in Australia. We are doing, um, it's a one called Book Boyfriend in Newcastle, um, which is probably only about an, that's Newcastle in Australia, um, which is about an hour and a half north of where I am. Um, and that's in a couple of weeks, three, three weeks maybe. Um, which is quite a big one. There's about 200 authors there, but the probably majority will be Australian authors, local authors. Um, so we're doing that one. And then I don't have anything other this year planned other than writing, I'm trying to, I don't know, but I, I know you know, we I took this year off work, full-time work, so I'm writing full-time. And that was the plan, to just get as much done, write, 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 get it as much done as I can this 12 months. The end of the year, Christmas, we're reassessing the situation and see how we go. But uh, yeah, so not, no, not, not in the UK or the States or Canada at the moment, nothing planned. Okay. I, I think we should all have the goal to go to one of the rare events, whether that be London yes. or France. I want to go to the one in Edinburgh so bad. That would be lovely. Yes. But we really yes. got to plan for that. because that's, that's a big one. That's a big one. But you yeah. do have to come because I just signed up for uh, Love on the Beach in 2026. They're doing it on the Gold Coast again. Yeah. But they're doing it in August this time, which will be really nice. So it'll be in winter, so it's not going to be anywhere near as okay. hot. Um, okay. So 2026, you're coming to Australia and you're going to yes. stay. I like that idea. Yeah. I'm yeah. writing this down. Write that down. 2026. Write that down. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to go out and sell a few journals. So we can <laughs> That's right. Yes. Uh, so you've got, you've got a couple go. of years to plan and it's not going to be too hot on the beach and you're going to have a great time. So, yes. So you'll be coming and you're going to stay with me. So it's all sorted. I that's awesome. I think Sounds that's one perfect. that our husbands <laughs> might fight with us about, like that they would want to come, but we Was, tend to leave them at home when we do these. It would so. be a big trip. Yes. Yeah. It's a huge yeah. flight. That's the only trouble. Yeah. It is. It's a huge trip. But we one of the authors that came. I so have a last Kindle. One, she, <laughs> yes. Very good. She flew in from Alabama, and I can't remember her name. She flew in from Alabama, did the signing, and flew home the next day. I went, oh, that's horrendous. <laughs> Was she? An I don't author? know how she did it. Yes, an author. She was. She was signing wow. opposite me, and I just went, "Oh my goodness!" That's a but lot. Um, I have to, yes, that's a huge trip. But anyway, yeah, I would want to say so, no, for sorry, two days at least. Yes, you would have. I don't know what the story was there, but she. She said, "No, I'm flying home tomorrow," and I went, "Oh." I said, "Have you slept?" She said, "Not really." And I went, no, I don't think so. But anyway. I mean, yeah. was she in her 20s? Because I could only pull that off in my 20s. <laughs> yeah, maybe she was young. Yeah, because yeah. now I yeah. need my sleep big time. No, no, no. Ugly. Yeah, it gets ugly. Yeah, no, very ugly. No, I'm sorry, Mandy. No, I'm not. Uh, nothing at planned at this stage. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I mean, well, yeah. I was just curious. So I'm like, I need to ask that question. Mm -hmm. yes. And I am okay. okay with planning a trip to Australia. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. For the most part. I don't want the snakes. But I'm good. Just hide them. <laughs> This so we some had yeah. some subscribers send in questions. So Marie would like to know if you, well, I wonder maybe before we start talking questions specifically, why don't, do you want to tell us a little bit about some of the books that, I mean, we've talked about all your books on our channel, but do you want to talk about your books a little bit before I just jump into like questions? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, at the moment I'm working on my Rockstar series, as you both know. Um, so I'm currently working on Whispers of Us, and that is book three in the Cold Neptune series. So this was a bit of a branch out from my normal style. I did a lot of sweet contemporary, 
you know, small town, um, bit of a little bit of a mystery sort of thread through some of them. Um, this one, these Rockstar series have been a lot steamier, a lot dirtier, sort of a bit grittier sort of feel. And they're doing well, like they're doing they're doing quite well. I think once the series is finished, um, people will really sort of sink their teeth into it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But um, that's my plan. We'll get the next two done, which is Whispers of Us, and then the next one's called Shadows of You. Um, after that, I do want to sneak in a little Christmas novella because I haven't done one of those before and I was really looking forward to doing that last year and I, I just didn't get time to do it. So I'm going to do that. And then I've got another uh, standalone that I've already sort of planned out, which um, will hopefully be done by the end of the year. So we can do the four in the 12 months, in the, you know, by the end of the year will be. So that's kind of what I've got planned at the moment book-wise. Um, what have we got? We've got? I've got a couple of the YAs, Hellbent, Heaven Sent, and then, of course, the winter before is is sort of my sweetest kind of contemporary romance. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's what I've got at the moment. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this is why I thought, oh, maybe we should back up because the first question is from Marie, yeah. and she would like to know if you would ever write a mafia romance. Oh, geez. I don't. I'd have to pick your brains because I, I really don't <laughs> think I know enough about mafia. I didn't. I haven't. I don't read mafia. Um, I've never tried to write mafia. Um, I did try to re read the MC that you suggested <laughs> once, and I I don't know whether I don't know whether I could get into the gritty that that sort of dark side. I don't know. Yeah. Funny in saying that, there's a couple of scenes in um, Almost Like You where the the abusive ex husband. Um, there's some darker scenes with him and the abuse that he you know he does. And actually, they were some of the easiest scenes I've ever written. I really? loved writing scenes. So you never know. Maybe there's something. <laughs> mafia dark hidden in there somewhere that's yeah <laughs> i don't know they were they were some of the most fun scenes that i've ever written yeah well we can well we can tell you everything that has to be in the book and to make it good yes. so yeah uh, we need it yeah. there's like a list of rules you have to follow yeah yes absolutely yeah, yeah. no so but no no plans at the moment but you never know but yeah. okay that's it yeah okay so Marie's other question is, what are you writing at the moment, which I think you just kind of talked about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, yes. So concentrating on the Rockstar series, getting that finished, uh, getting it edited. I have the editors already booked. Everything's sort of formatting's already booked. So I've just got a, the whole month of April will be dedicated to finishing it, sort of half done. Um, and then pretty much going straight into then uh, Shadows of You. which you, So this one that I'm working on at the moment is Quinn's book, um, mm -hmm. Quinn and Cassie who works in Leon's bar. And then the next one is um, Jackson, the drummer. But I don't have, I have no idea what's happening with Jackson or, or what, where he's going or who he's partner with. No, no concept whatsoever what's happening with Jackson. So okay. we'll see what happens with him. Poor old Jackson. Okay. Yeah. 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 So do you let Good. the characters, like, do the, so when you're writing and like you're telling us you have no clue, do the characters speak to, do you hear that or do you, or do you just, come up with the idea because you hear other authors say oh the characters speak to me and they go where they want to go and do what they want to do is that how it works in your brain <laughs> not in this series it hasn't no not at all <laughs> i've really maybe the first maybe with with reed's book um mm -hmm. the lyrics of her i probably i can't i definitely knew how that the twist was going to play out i knew that was going to happen so everything that led up to that was where to get us to that point um echoes of him as you know took a really long time to write i had I struggled with it a lot trying to work out what was going to happen, but that sort of then played into, so I fed bits of Quinn's book into that last book. So, the, so I kind of knew what was going to happen with this one. Jackson's book, no, no idea. Okay. okay. We'll work that out as we go along. <laughs> maybe he's in the mafia. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's in the yeah. mafia. <laughs> maybe he's part of the mafia. I don't know. He might be in a motorcycle club. I don't know. Mafia motorcycle rider. We're going to yeah. and MC at the same Drummer. time. Drummer yeah. on the side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I love that. So do you know yeah. who the love interest is going to be, did you say, or no? No, no. no. I th no I'm thinking no, no. It'll, probably just, it'll probably be a new character altogether. Okay. So this one, um, as I say, Cassie, who we only met very, very briefly <laughs> in um, the other couple of books. But, yeah, she was always going to be, even from book one, she was going to be a love interest somewhere along the line. Um, but, no, no, no idea. I think it might be either totally new character or... I thought about for a minute maybe doing, um, I'm going to try to remember her name. What was um, Sienna's cousin? Is it Andrea? Yes, Andrea. Oh, yeah. Um, the cousin that took Bailey away on a weekend or something. Yeah, so oh, I thought about maybe, or maybe she comes back into the picture. I thought, I know, but we might start fresh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. But other than that, 
That's it. Okay. Rose would like to know what your favorite books and authors are. Or who oh, okay. your favorite authors Ooh. are. Yeah. Oh, I, I I read a lot. Um, probably more like a lot in this genre, like in this genre, of course. Um, and in the style of writers that I, I try to write. So I mean, I love. You're gonna hate me. You know, I love Colleen Hoover. <laughs> she knows it. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna fault you for it. It's okay. <laughs> you know, I do. Um, yeah. but I do. I love Penelope Douglas. I love Mia Sheridan. Um, Brittany Cherry. Um. Oh, Vikeland, everyone. Like, yeah, there's so many, so many authors that I, I love to read. Um, I love Kylie Scott, the Australian author. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't I do, she's Australian. Yeah. Okay. Yes, she like, is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Katie Evans, I read a lot of her books. I've read, I mean, I went through sort of my, my originally when I first started getting back to reading, I got into a lot of um, like Abby Glines and, mm -hmm. and that sort of stuff, but I probably maybe moved on a little bit from, from that. So I like something a little bit grittier a little bit sort of yeah. more adult as such but um yeah so there are a lot of the the read the writers that I follow um I'm trying to think so as far as reading I do read just a lot of contemporary romance in the same genre that I like to write in um I don't mind occasionally there's a couple of Mia Sheridan books that have a, a like a couple of twists of you know very mystery or a, a murder mystery sort of involved through them and stuff which mm -hmm. I really have enjoyed sometimes it's nice to break out of a the pattern of just being he meets her and she meets him and that's what happens and happy ever after yeah. but yeah so but the, yeah i do read a lot i'm reading a kylie scott book at the moment i don't know if you've read have you read fake by kylie scott uh so you i know, don't fake, think fake, I've, fake though, dating. I've read a lot by her but i can't yeah. remember i think i i think i have it on my kindle but i don't think i've read that one yet yeah so I i'm looking it up really quick i'm yeah. trying uh, so <laughs> what would you say is like your favorite but like, do you have a favorite? I think my favorite book of all time that anyone who ever says to me, have you read, do you read, what do you read? I always tell them that Amy Harmon, The Law of Moses okay. is my absolute favorite book I've ever read. Okay. I sobbed like a baby. I, it affected me so much. I had never reached out to another author before. And I messaged mm -hmm. her and she, she messaged me back going, oh, I, thank you. Like, it was really yeah. nice. But I said, I just, I thought about it for days and days. Still think about it. Loved it. Yeah. Loved that book. Laura think, Moses, did, Amy Harmon. Did she write the one with the injured guy in the military? It's something about faces. Was that what she wrote? Yes, Making Faces. Yes. 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 And that's a beautiful book so, as well. She writes very beautiful of, books. They're not steamy they're, at all. No, I was going to say they're, they're clean, but they're good. Yes. Very, yeah. very good. I Heartbreaking. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is beautiful it. story. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I no, have yes, read fake. Writes. You have, you have read fake. Yes. I did. I did. Yes. Okay. I don't Very think good. I have. Yes, it is good. Yes. No, so I'm only about halfway through, but I am enjoying that too. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. So that's probably probably about it. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yay. Are you ready? All right. Next question. Wait, let me just make sure Rose had a couple questions on there. Okay, got all those. Okay, our next question is from Megan, who actually is the winner of oh, yes. our 1K giveaway for your books. How exciting. And so, yeah. Yes, She was very sweet. She, she messaged me to say thank you for that too, So which was oh, really lovely. Oh, good. Feel, yeah. feel like yeah. her really sweet. Our yes. interactions with her yes. Very nice. Yeah. She wants to know, what is your favorite book you've written so far? Oh. and your favorite character oh no <laughs> it's like, How yeah do you... i don't have kids but it's like choosing your favorite kid yeah. <laughs> um oh you kind of have a bit of a i must admit i've i always have had a soft spot for Bo in hellbent because he was my first yes. book you know and because he's so young and he's so broken and he's all and i, I just loved mm -hmm. him it took a really long time to write him that story is based very much on um, my own experiences growing up in my own life. Um, so in a lot of ways, Bo really? was. Yes, very much. Bo was very much almost me in the male, you know, way worse male version sort of. sees so the bad boy. I wasn't, I wasn't like that at all, but don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I just certainly didn't get in trouble and had to do community <laughs> service or anything like that. But he was very much, um, yeah, so he's a bit, got a nice place in my heart. Um, mm -hmm. I loved I loved Isaac in the winter before and yeah I, I, I yeah I liked and I, and I liked um, Kale 
definitely Kale had a soft spot. Mm -hmm. He was easy to write as well, I thought, because he was so just cheeky and just naughty and always just, yeah, always had something fun to say. Yes, he's always had a bit of a, a, you know, something smart to say. But, Mm -hmm. yeah, other than, yeah, so, yeah. My favourite book, I don't know, I guess I think Lyrics of Her was probably the easiest one to write. I wrote that very quickly. Um, Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I've got a favourite. You can't pick a favourite, can you? Maybe. I liked the story of the winter before, but then I also liked it almost like you. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> when, you have, when you have, like, 50 books to your name, maybe it'll be easier yeah. to pick yeah, up there's, a there's only but... a handful there, yeah. 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 Maybe at the end of this year when I finally get my act together, we can get that sorted. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but if somebody asked me to pick my favourite, it would be very hard. I, yes. I love all the characters. They're all so different. And they, yeah, you can't pick it. They all have I don't know. That was a good question, though. Thanks, Megan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. I was, was thinking one. when I read that, I was thinking about Bo because Hellbent was my first uh, uh, book by uh, you. And yes. I really liked Bo and just how, mm-hmm. I mean, like you said, how broken he is. But then when you keep reading and find out more of his backstory and stuff, you're yeah. like, oh. Yeah. Maybe yeah. yeah. it has something to do with being the first book because – Normally, yeah. I like Isaac because I, that was Winter Before was my first book. And so oh, okay. I'm like, you yeah. have to protect Isaac at all costs. And at so maybe costs. it has something to do with that, that first book situation, like the first yeah. book that we've read of yours. Yeah, I think so. I say Bo will always, Bo and Corey will always be sort of, they'll have a special place in my heart for sure. Yeah. 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 I had to give them their happy ever after because they'd been through too much. So, yeah. So- <laughs> <laughs> I also, though, I also really like kale too i like all of your books like so I love it's Richard. hard but kale stands out a little bit too mm-hmm. yeah 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 i must admit yeah kale kale was a bit of a funny character to write yeah poor old kale and then i think you kind of answered this question uh megan has another question and she just wants to know how many books you're planning for the cold neptune series oh okay well at the moment it's only the four um once that series is done, then I'm kind of interested. I'm kind of keen to move on to something else mm-hmm. just to get out of that genre for a little bit. I think uh, writing a series is a big commitment as far as sticking in that same trope and uh, and four books was a, is a lot. But I would not say never because I, I, I've thought about it even. Uh, maybe Nick getting his own book at some stage, maybe mm-hmm. D at some stage, the the annoying big boobed one that helps out with the band. <laughs> she may get a she may get a book at some stage. I, I, who knows? You never. I don't mm-hmm. think so. But you never know. So I, I, I was talking to an author and another Australian author just before Christmas, and she she said to me, "You need to learn to write worlds. Like you need to create this whole world." And I thought, "Oh, okay. So you could do that with a rock star, with a rock band." Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what she. That's what we discussed. And I, I took a lot of that on board as far as you know creating characters the the band it might even be someone who works in the tattoo shop they give them something interesting to 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 work around and they may end up with their own book because then it gives people something to follow you know so Mm -hmm. creating worlds is something that i'm working on this year yeah yeah i think that's important because that opens up a lot of possibilities and a lot of doors that's right yeah yeah Yeah. absolutely um i'm gonna jump in before we go to the next question you had talked to me for half a minute about a historical that you'd written at one point are you still planning on doing something with that yeah, at some stage. Actually, I only flipped through them the other day. They're on my, in my bookcase here somewhere. Um, they're very short little novellas and there's eight of them. They're very, very clean, um, squeaky clean sort of set in America. Sort of it was a real kind of Bible belt sort of thing in the Westerns of Mail Order Bride era, that kind of, you know, late 1800s. Mm-hmm. So, but they're very, very clean. Um, I think I said god damn it or something once in one of the books and i got a terrible <laughs> terrible reviews because of the blasphemy and all that sort of stuff so I, I had to be very careful but i'm thinking of perhaps putting them together in some way um steaming them up a little bit mm-hmm. to the point you know not to the point that it's going to be you know sort of modern day sort of but right. um that was sort of an option yeah 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 i love i i love me a meal or a brain i'll even take a clean one we're good so. Oh dear, <laughs> and that was really a world because by the time I did the eight books, there was a lot of characters because the, the it was called the season series, so it followed the four seasons of the year, and then it was the next generation when all their kids grew up. So there was a whole. So there really is the option to do that, um, and I think I, I probably will at some stage get that sorted. But I just want to finish what I'm doing at the moment. Oh but yeah, yeah. So I think most of them were only sort of maybe about a hundred or so pages. 
um, each, or maybe 110, 15 pages. So to really, uh, to expand on that, uh, you know, I could easily double those and then you kind of got a decent sized book, yeah. So are they different characters in each novella or the same character yeah. throughout? No, different, same town, same, it's a different bride each time, but they're all connected somehow. One, you know, someone knew someone in the orphanage and it's kind of yeah. a bit cliche cliche and maybe like that but <laughs> yes so they're all yes they are all connected the people in the town all know each other they're all connected they grew up in the town yeah, yeah. there's a there's a, and there's a bit of humor in those ones as well um mm -hmm. there was a, there's a little boy in that particular series that people seem to really like mm -hmm. and so you never know yeah I mean, that will certainly yeah. definitely work on that at some stage yeah that would be awesome yeah i'd like to read that yeah so did you pull those because you talked about like reviews for them but i've never seen them anywhere no no they're written under a different name um uh, and i don't do any advertising i never talk about them they they just sit there and they do their thing and they tick over and they don't sell a huge amount anymore they did quite well when they first came out but that was probably about 2017 or so they first came out um and they just said no they're yeah so they're under a different name there okay. i'm not going to tell you because no, <laughs> no. <laughs> then you go and read them and they're really bad <laughs> We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll be good. We'll be good. Yeah. So I'll, I will re-put them. I will, yeah. They did really well when they first came out. They've obviously just sat there for a lot of, a lot of time, and I put no effort into them now as far as um, advertising or promoting or right. doing anything. They just sit there. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So what was next? Okay. The next question is: Do you have a release date for your next book? Uh, that's an ugly question. Let's have a look. <laughs> um, I need to have it finished by the end of April. Then the first couple of weeks in April, um, my sorry, the first couple of weeks in May, my plan is Jeff, my husband, always reads first, and he's which sounds bizarre because he is really, really good at picking out plot holes and bits and pieces. He's really good at that. So he will say things like, "She drove a car to the church, and then all of a sudden she's over here. So how did she get from there to there?" And I go, oh, like, "Does that matter?" Yes, it matters. Yes, get, it oh matters. God. So we fix it. <laughs> so that's what that normally he reads it and he's really good. He he will highlight things, you know, there might be spelling mistakes and stuff like that, which is fine. Um, but he's very, very good at picking up plot holes or or inconsistencies and things like that. So he'll read it for it normally takes him about a week. He doesn't read 45 books in a week. He uh, <laughs> he'll read that and then it's booked in for editing on an needs to go on the 17th of May. So once I get it back from the editor, she has it for normally about three weeks or so. I'll go through it again probably a dozen times. Then it goes to formatter and then after that. So I haven't, it's still set, at, I think it's August on the pre-order. Um, I'm going to leave it there just in case anything happens. Um, as soon as it's ready, though, it'll be released. Yeah. Okay. So okay. It, you, I'm probably, you're probably looking at, uh, what are we saying, April, May, so May June, at some point mm -hmm. in June. Yeah. Okay. So I've just awesome. got to finish it. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish writing it. It's yeah. just this that long process, you know, the the editing and then getting it formatted and and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. But and trying to lock, but but editing's definitely booked. Everything's already booked in, which is really good. So just finish the book, get Jeff to read it, um, get a few early readers, and then ask and cook our way out. Yeah, so all good. Yeah. So probably about June. So, so when okay. when when do you get the cover done? Like somebody does the cover for you. Yeah, the covers are done um, oh, okay. because, yeah, I just haven't released them. The covers are done um, for all of them. I bought all four of them at the same time. They were a pre or pre packaged thing. Um, mm -hmm. So, this next one, you know, it's got the, the pink and then the green. This one's going to be purple. Mm -hmm. uh, like yeah. the echoes part will be purple. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I haven't decided what color to do the last one yet. Okay. So, if anyone's got any ideas on some nice colors, it'll be pink, green, purple, and <laughs> blue. It should also. be blue. Yeah, probably blue, maybe. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But yeah. otherwise, um, yeah, so no, the cover's, the cover's done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so the first two covers were probably my favourite in the series that I got, but they were, that's all I could afford at the time. I bought four of them at the time and it was a big chunk of money, so I went, oh, I'm just going to. So I used the first two that I liked the most first and mm -hmm. then I thought maybe covers don't matter so much once you get to the third and the fourth one. But, um, yeah, it's, yeah it, it suits him. It definitely suits Quinn's cover. Okay. Okay. That would yeah. be cool to see. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What other questions you got, Mandy? Okay. The next question is, how do you keep all the details straight in your books <laughs> when you're writing a series? I, yeah, it is. That's the tricky part. Um, I do spend <laughs> a lot of time going back and reading things going, hang on, what was, what did we, what color were her eyes or what did we say she was going to be or, um, but I do, I have learned. So I do have a log. 
I do keep a, a little book that I've got there with all the characters, how they're connected. I especially forget side characters' names, like Andrea <laughs> that I was talking about before. Yes. Um, so I do keep a list of side characters because I have been known to name someone else the same name in the next book <laughs> and go, oh, that's not going to work, so let's go back. Or little yeah. things like, oh, hang on, what 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 was the day or what order did that happen? And then all of a sudden, so in the next, because this book I'm working on goes back in time a little bit, so it sort of overlaps echoes of him, the same timeline. So Kale's in rehab doing his thing and this is what Quinn's doing sort of behind the scenes. Okay. Um, so I have had to go back a lot and go, oh, God, hang on, no, that didn't happen until way later. I'm going to have to work this out. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. But I do keep, well, a little, do keep a little log of it. Yeah, Yeah. didn't you post one time that you couldn't really, like you totally had a, a little brain fart you couldn't remember somebody's last name that was like a main character or something? Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it yeah. happens all the time. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, that's right. Little yeah. things, little things like, yeah, like surnames or what 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 colour hair does he have again? I have to go back and look because mm -hmm. a lot of the covers especially don't have the, the heads no. on them sort of or they're a bit hidden. Um, so I think, oh, hang on, did he have black hair or blue eyes? And oh, I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> we get there in the We get there in the end. <laughs> yes, we'll get there in the end. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Jessica, I think you had a question. I don't <laughs> remember it now. <laughs> You said I, you had a question that you wanted to ask. I think I already did. Like, well, maybe not. So when you're coming up with the ideas, how do you come up with the ideas for your books? Like, is it where you're like, I'm in the shower this morning, just washing my hair and oh, this idea popped up or like, where, where do you come up with your idea? Like, how does that work? It, it kind of really does. You probably, you, you're kind of close. Um, a lot of things, a lot of things that you, I'll tell you what. And I don't want to give too much away if you haven't read lyrics of her, but the song that he writes, 321, mm -hmm. uh, which is about, you know, in his past. And my husband and I were walking on the beach one day with our dog. There was a gentleman in front of us that had a, uh, a, a rock band T-shirt on. And on the back of it, it had the dates that they were touring. Now, obviously toured in America because I said to Jeff, oh, look at that, it says 321 on the back of his shirt. I said it must be the 21st of March because we do it the other way around Of course, we yeah. say like two, one, three. Right. And he, Jeff goes, oh, and just kept walking. No, no big deal. That started something in my head that, oh, three, two, one, like that, that's kind of cool. Like that could be something. I don't know what, but, mm -hmm. and that's ended up turning into the, the, the book that ended up with lyrics of her. Okay. Same a bit with um, like almost like you. And I tell this story a few times. There's the scene where uh, you don't really know what's happening without giving too much away, but it doesn't matter. Um, when she gets finally gets into his bedroom and he has told her not to go into his bedroom ever, because you don't, why, why, what's in the bedroom? I, I racked my brain for, for months. I just kept skipping over that part and just kept, continued writing because I didn't know what was in the bedroom. I thought there's something in the bedroom that he doesn't want her to see. I don't know what it is. I took my dog out for, for a wee at midnight one night mm -hmm. <laughs> and I looked at her and she's doing her stuff and I said to her, I got. I was thinking about it. And I said, I've got nothing. I, I just, I've got nothing. I, I, I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> we went back to bed. She went to bed. No, I pulled the sheets up and then I went, oh, no, nothing. There's nothing in the bedroom. What about that? There could be nothing. And I went, Jeff, Jeff, what if there's nothing in the bedroom? And she goes in and there's absolutely nothing there. He's like, yeah, that'd work. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes. yes. So that's how that came about too so there's little things that really when you don't expect them to, to to be something they turn into something and when you try too hard to figure something out it never ends up being you're putting too much thought in you're overthinking it and you end up I've, I've done that probably a little bit with this book I've tried to I've written scenes where I've trashed the whole scene because that's that's just wasting time let's just get back onto the story yeah, so that most of the time that's how it happens it's just a random thought or a random or you listen to a bit of a conversation of someone's in the cafe or you, you know, you're a you know, old lady walks past at the bus stop and you hear a little bit of something what she's saying or you look at what she's knitting and you think, oh, there could be something there. <laughs> there might not be, but there could be, yeah. yeah. So that's pretty much how it happens, yeah. And then so do you write just like, do you write in chronological order of the book or do you write like jump around to different chapters in the book and like different scenes? How do you do that? I have, I have jumped around before, definitely written scenes and then put them together. Mm -hmm. um, the, this series, though, I have written in chronological order for sure. Okay. I think it helped me just keep the pace of things better and not. I, I do, I have done that before and jumped sort of right to the end and then come back again. 
And sometimes you still, I mean, you might finish the book to, to the point where you think it's finished and then you go back and think, oh, it really needs, there's not enough explanation as to why this happens or that happens. Mm -hmm. um, so then you might write another scene or two or three scenes to, to pad that thing out or something. But but otherwise I, I do, yeah, I think chronological order is the only way it really makes more sense in my head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like, okay, so then my last one, the the play, I, I have more, they popped up. No, it's, fine. Okay. it's fine. When you're, okay. <laughs> How do you choose where, like the setting, like in it wasn't winter before is Montana. One of them yes. is Montana. Like how are yep. you, how do you choose? Are these places you visited or just places you'd like to go? I mean, how do I you have been to Montana. Okay, um, I've been to Montana and I've been to New York a couple of times. So they're okay. they're books that are they those ones are set um, almost like you were set in Wyoming. I've never been to Wyoming. Um, but I <laughs> I've seen lots of pictures of it. And I yeah. read yeah. I read a lot of I did a lot of research on it. Um, Someone actually messaged me just the other day um, in one of the, is it in lyrics of her? She go, they go to Ohio because that's where Brindley lives. And she said to me, there's, I must have written something about a mountain in, in Ohio. And she said, there's no mountains there. There's just hills. And I said, oh, okay. So I'll keep that on track. So I do have to be very careful to make sure because I haven't, you know, I don't live there. Um, mm -hmm. But I do have an American editor and she has, she picks things up really, really, really well. She's um, Ellie McLove, of course, and she does a really great yeah. job. So yeah. she picks up a lot of uh, spelling and that I don't even realize is is a spelling mistake until she sends we don't we don't spell it like that I'm like oh okay sorry yeah. but and she's really good with um scenery and things like that too so and she says oh it was like in Wyoming with the horse ranch uh, there was a few scenes where she said I don't think you would see that or I don't think that they would actually say that or something so that's fine so she we rewrite it I send it back and she goes done <laughs> that's better i'm just yeah. surprised she didn't catch the whole skivvies thing remember in, in the winter before when i was like What's a we call, that's what we call underwear like isn't that funny <laughs> it's yes hilarious. there has I been a it. couple i must admit there's a couple that she has said to me well i just assumed people would know what that meant she must she must have known that mm -hmm. but I've, I've yeah i have messaged her a couple of times going oh that one got through <laughs> she'll go oh whoops um i think that was it on the list oh yes uh the last question is what do you like to do in your free time oh what do we like to do um well up until this year i haven't had a huge amount of free time because all my free time was spent writing because i worked as well mm -hmm. so now that i'm not working um at the surgery i am writing pretty much monday to friday and then i've got weekends off now which is great um, so we love to go away. We haven't done it for a while, but we love to go away camping. Um, we love spending time, like we'll take the dog out for, for long walks. Um, we love going for dinner and the movies, that sort of thing. Anything to just uh, disassociate. My husband's a big football fan as well, so we, we do go to the football a fair bit during winter here. Um, but other than that, I'm trying to think, what else do I do? I don't do anything. So, <laughs> when you say football, are we talking soccer? um no rugby league rugby oh i um, want to go watch well, we, rugby well it's we'll see this is the thing so rugby is actually different to rugby league so we have like rugby union which people call rugby um which is normally played in a different state to where we are um but rugby league rugby league is the ones that just came over to las vegas i don't know if you saw much about that we had about i don't know six teams or something went over to las vegas and they did a big thing in, in las vegas but um yeah so it's a little bit it's a little bit different to rugby but and it's very different to soccer of course yeah. We have a um, we have a big uh, following for the female soccer team in Australia. They're called the Matildas, mm -hmm. and I, if the Matildas are on, everything in in this country stops. Everyone watches the Matildas, but which that's is really awesome. good for female for female soccer. Yes, oh, that's yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, it's really cool. That's but cool. otherwise, yeah, we we just we go to the beach a fair bit in summer. Mm -hmm. um, we love like it's coming up to Easter, so we'll have like all Jeff's family will all come over for Easter. We normally put on lunch and do the same thing for Christmas. And we love having the family over for barbecues and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. anything that's that you can switch your brain off and just go, ah, that's better. And mm -hmm. then you get back yeah. again on Monday. <laughs> but yeah. So now I've got some more time on my hands. I'm, I'm really looking forward to just, it's nice to get out in the garden on the weekends. It's nice to just to potter around the house and catch up on things. So yeah, yeah. that's about it really. Yeah. So when you guys are camping, do you, camp in the summer or do you camp at a different time of year when it's cooler yeah it's it's too hot i couldn't camp in the yeah. middle of summer um it's just too <laughs> hot so even in winter it can get very cold but you can always get warmer you sit in front of the fire you rug up i i like the cold because i'm i'm a bit of a 
sweaty Betty. I, I don't know. And but <laughs> no, normally sort of autumn and like autumn and spring, like sort of those okay. those months on either side of the really cold. Yeah. So where we we like to go by the there's a big dam or a river or a lake or something like that, and we just camp by the by there with the fire and sit around and chat and don't do much. But it's um just nice to get away because I know you've got a, a caravan or something, haven't you? A trailer. We've got a trailer. Truck, yeah um and i i love it because where we go we don't have service typically there's one place that we love to go up at the mountains that doesn't have cell phone service so yeah we completely disconnect and i lay in my hammock all yeah. weekend long and just read but we have to do it in <laughs> spring and summer like our campgrounds yeah. don't even open up until april or may depending on where okay. they are so and then they're closed mm -hmm. by october yeah so, yeah. yeah okay yeah. oh there you go we yeah. have we have air conditioning in ours so you know in our trailer so we're good but you do you guys do you have a caravan or a camper or do you we've camp? got a little um it's this tiny little i don't know if you've seen it it's like an a van so it's this tiny yes. little thing that pops up like that yeah. and it's oh. only the two of us and the dog and off we go and um it's got a little kitchenette sort of thing in it and a bed and that's all you need but we might spend most of the time outside anyway but yeah, yeah so the plan is though the grand plan is that I'm going to make millions of dollars writing books, see? <laughs> and then we're going to buy a, um, I, don't, I don't know if you call it, I suppose it's like a trailer, like a, we call them like a Winnebago. You know, the yes, thing, the one that you drive. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. So motor like a home, that's motor what home. Yes, that's what, yeah, to motorhome. Yeah, we would say that too. So yeah. um, that's what we That's what we want to do. We sell our little caravan and we're going to buy a motorhome and just take off and go see Australia. We've done a bit of travelling around the world when we were a bit younger and now we're just looking forward to spending some time traveling around australia and seeing some things we've never seen oh. yeah you know my husband wants oh. to get a fifth wheel which is the kind that really the, the big oh. ones that hook into your truck that hook and on, yeah yeah that hook, they have the overhead they hook on and when yeah. he retires and kind of drive around and travel but i don't think mandy will let me be gone that long so we'll see what happens <laughs> yeah no <laughs> right so how far apart do you live you live a Okay, you live in the same state, but do you live in the same state? Yeah, it's about five, four to five hours, depending yeah. on traffic. Yeah. So, it's a, so we try okay. and meet in the middle, or I am about an hour, a little over an hour from her, where her family lives, like her parents yeah. and grandparents. So uh, yeah. sometimes we can make that work. <laughs> yeah, so she's like on the way to my parents' house. So if okay. um, the last. The last couple of times that we've come down for, well, one time for sure last year. And then um, just a few weeks ago, we'll stop either on the way down and have my husband drop me off and he'll go back. He'll go down to my parents' house with the kids. That's a good and then, yeah. and then he'll bring me home. Or like this last time we stopped on our way home and it was just me and my girls. But we stopped on the way home and uh, Mandy and I recorded and my girls sat around and watched TV while we were doing it. Yeah. So, yeah yeah so it's um seattle the northern part of seattle is kind of our halfway point for both of us okay so yeah, yeah. oh good are you going to love in seattle again i think that's the plan right so the next one is i think ellie was posting she was hoping to do it in august of 2025 Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So it's not plenty of time for an Australian author to plan to be there. <laughs> good, good night. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if Jeff will go back to Seattle again. We loved it. We had a great time over there. We really did. It was a. I mean, we were there for a week, so it was a quick trip again. But yeah, we loved it. I loved. I loved that whole area. I loved the cooler weather, and it was raining, and I loved the rain, and yeah, I, I really, we really enjoyed the whole the whole trip. Yeah, we yeah. do have two events in Seattle this summer that we're doing though. Yes. Oh, okay. Or something like that. Yes. Yeah. So um, those are kind of nice because I yeah. can fill my car with all my books and not have yes. to. Uh, and not have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but no. one of them we're going as a vendor. We're going with our yes. journals. So, so we're going journals, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then Rain City, which is in Seattle in the spring or spring in the fall, your spring, my fall, um, yep. has some bigger named authors there that we're going to go. See. Wow. Oh. I thought of you actually, Jessica, in um, Queensland when we were up there because the, a, a lady who had been, she had a pre-order with me um, and she mm -hmm. picked up all her books. She puts, posted something on the page later that day and she said that she had bought 422 books. And I was like, holy moly, like that's thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. I was like, oh, it, oh yeah, it stunned yeah. me. She, she did about eight, she was staying in the hotel, she did about eight trips up and down just and she had photos of them in her room. I was like, oh my God. But anyway, I thought, 
I thought the the forty whatever was bad when we were in Vegas. I don't plan on doing that again. But um, she must have literally bought everything of everyone that was there. I don't know. No, I bought a couple. Like with BJ Alpha, I, I bought several of BJ's books. Um, yeah. You know, like. It wasn't that I bought from every author. It was the authors that I loved that I knew was going to be there. I bought a couple different books yeah. from those authors. I think Karen so, was yeah. talking about the lady who bought 400 and some books. Yeah. Oh, her. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I, <laughs> I think we in, in Vegas. That's where my brain was going. She must have Jessica gone. Yeah, gets she very <laughs> defensive about her book purchases. Sure. <laughs> my husband's Calm right down. here. He's sitting right here listening to us. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. You know, yeah. I sold a bunch of books to buy all those books, but um, I don't know that I could do that again. Like now that I have those, when I look, you know, I'm looking for like our summer events, I'm going, okay, there's a few authors there that I am dying to see. And yeah, but I already own. So like if they have special editions, I'll consider it, but I can't yeah, imagine that's it. all of that. I don't yeah. have a lot of room for bookshelves. Where, where so do you put books? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Sorry. Oh, well. But I did tell Mandy because she's the one who gets free checked bag through Alaska Airlines. I'm like, uh, we need to buy all that together so I can get the free bag too. Yeah. <laughs> just in case. We'll just go together from here on. Uh yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. very good. Yeah. I uh, I want a behind me I ha I have like a vaulted ceiling in this room and I want yeah. a floor to ceiling bookshelf with a rolling ladder oh. and so I keep telling my husband that yeah. and he says that he will do something like that so I'm anticipating in like five to ten years I should have that <laughs> you should have that and you'll have all the yeah. books to fill it by then too <laughs> probably oh, that would be beautiful. When, when I drive down there and spend the weekend with her and we build them ourselves is probably when it's yeah. going to happen yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. No, my, I we'll just get out close. like a drill and saw and start making some noises. And it's going to go. really get you come in. Let, just let me do it. Just let me do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my girls share a bedroom and they, they have yeah. their whole lives. They've always shared a bedroom. My son has his own room and he's, he's graduating this year. And so my youngest one keeps saying, when is he going to go off to college? When's he moving out? I want his room. And I keep looking at her going, Ah, no, that will be a library for your mama. That's going to, yeah. She doesn't like that. Bookshelves so, all around. No. Yeah, yeah. But he isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So darn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's stuck yeah. The school that he wants to go to, the type of training, I think you have to be 21 for that training. So oh, he I will think. continue at the junior college, but he, yeah, you got to be 21 for that training. So, and it's cost of living is a lot right now. So, yeah, just absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so he'll move. So I don't get my library anytime soon. Not yet. No, you have to wait till they're all gone. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 Very good. Exciting. Yeah. Okay. So that, that is good. all the questions that we have on this end. Mm -hmm. Jessica, did you have any more? Did you? No, that's all the questions I have on this end. I know, but did you have personal questions other than the one that you asked? I think it was, I think we, like anything I was thinking of was asked as well. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I yeah. think. Yeah. Oh, Do you have okay. anything you want to share that we didn't ask? <laughs> no. What do I want to share? Um, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> um, okay. No, I, I just, I thank you so much for everything you've done for my books. Meeting, meeting the two of you in Seattle was just wonderful. And it's been lovely to be able to continue that 12 months later to still be able to chat and to, I am. Um, Again, I say when I remember when Jeff said to me, "Go and say hello to those ladies that are sitting and standing next to you." That new, they keep looking at you, and I went, "No, no, no they went to the toilet." And I remember when I came over and said like, "Hi," and Mandy said something about, "Oh, we've been, oh, I've been trying to think of something to say because I've been, I saw you there, and I was trying to think." And honestly, without it, without a word of a lie, in my head, I went, "Oh no, this is really embarrassing because she thinks I'm someone else." And I'm going to have to say, "I'm not." <laughs> you know whoever and mm -hmm. then you went oh and i've read hell bent and i've read heaven oh my god she just she, she, <laughs> she actually knows who i'm who i am <laughs> i was so excited i honestly thought oh no this is really awkward she, i'm gonna have to say oh, i'm sorry i'm not <laughs> whoever you are i put my name tag on too <laughs> but anyway it, no it meant the world it was really wonderful 
Oh, I love that. Cause that you, and you've heard Mandy talk about it the whole time. She was like, that's Karen Crompton. I, that's her. And there was one time when I walked sense. started walking towards your table to, to say something because she wouldn't move at all. <laughs> and, and she's like, no, 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 come back. <laughs> <you're crying." laughs> oh, so, that's so funny. Yeah, no, the that's minute funny. she that was, it, you, was, yeah. it was a hard trip that as far as walking in and not knowing anyone. Yeah. Like I knew Ellie, of course, but I, that was the first time I'd met her. So it's not like we'd, we'd had a relationship over the over emails and she'd mm -hmm. edited my books. But it wasn't like I was sort of comfortable enough to just sort of come in and go, like, hi, it's me, you know. But so to, to stand there and look around thinking, I don't know anyone in this room. It's really awkward. So when you, and I thought, okay, I'm going to go and say hello. I'll say hello to these lovely ladies. And uh, and then it turned out really good. So, yeah, <laughs> so you made yes. my trip. It was wonderful. Yes, it was wonderful. Yeah. I always yeah. think those things are awkward because we did the same thing because oh, it was the same, you know, just... company um, in Vegas when we did Vegas. Yeah. And it was the same, not the same idea because we had tables to sit down and chat and whatever, but it's yeah. always very awkward. And I think it's awkward for the authors and for the people who are there yeah. that aren't authors because you just, yeah. you're expected to just walk up to somebody and be like, hey, and well, yeah. that's, that's, that's not you. for anybody. No. So, yeah. it's well, kind of for a like while... At Seattle, we were just trying to see like people's name tags. And yeah. so that was part of why we were staring at you is we were trying to determine <laughs> if you really who were you who we thought you were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, and and like the time... they need to make the name tags like really big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and we were kind of like having to do like we we were we had ha we had our channel at that point, but we had yes. just hit. 100 subscribers so <laughs> we felt like we had a channel but we weren't at that point where we felt like we could just walk up to somebody and be like hey so we have this channel because at that time yes. it was such a small amount of people that watched us we just didn't and, and even now it's not a lot yeah. of people but we feel a little bit more established where we can go up to an author and we because of that event and get to talk to you and how amazing that experience was when we went to vegas we felt like okay we can do this. Like we can go and talk to, we, it, we still hung back and getting to meet, um, you know, BJ Alpha, like we did, it was the same yeah. thing. We, we love that coming back from an event, we have at least one author that we've made friends with that we keep in contact yeah. with. Enough. So you were, yeah, uh, absolutely. You broke the ice. So yeah. But that was very honest, Jessica. Everybody. We didn't go up and talk to people. You talk to people <laughs> and I stand there. <laughs> That's awkwardly, so awkwardly, where I overshare, so it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I think I learned more about you that night than. Oh <laughs> I yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. I have no problem you. sharing everything. So yeah, yeah. And Jessica, yeah. Mandy's there, like nudge, nudge, shush, shush. Yeah, yeah, I'm, like, what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure at one point I actually told her, I told you not to tell people that story. <laughs> Oh no, I that's know. so funny. It was really a, good. Yeah, you threw me into an event in a situation where you weren't talking. So <laughs> it all it was all on my shoulders and stuff just comes out. It just comes yeah. out. No, so it was really, really good. It was just lovely to meet you. It was so yeah. nice. Yeah, that just that made us yes. feel it was just awesome. I'm so yeah. glad. Yeah. I was yeah. so excited when I saw you. Like we decided we were gonna go to this, and there were a few authors on there that Jessica had knew of and so when i was looking at the list i'm like oh my gosh karen crompton's gonna be there this is so exciting oh, yeah. Oh, how fun. We were, I did get invited to Love in Vegas that year, or was it the mm -hmm. year before? I, I can't remember now. Is this um, last year, I thought you said. No, so the one, bef the one before Seattle, but I okay. said no to that one because we'd been to Vegas before, and it is a big trip, and it's it's not cheap, you know, it's not uh, it's not something mm -hmm. you can do every day. Um, so, But we had been to Vegas before, so when I knew Seattle was coming up, and so I messaged Ellie, and I said to her, I I'm going to say no to, to Vegas if that's all right. I said, but if you've got like invitations hadn't been sent out yet like what do you, if the possibility comes up that i could go to seattle let's do that and then she just wrote you know not a problem done like we're doing that you don't even have to ask so so that was really good she's lovely yeah really good to work with and yeah. she's been lovely she puts on great fabulous events yeah 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 because yeah. going into vegas we were getting a little nervous because they were talking about the whole wristband thing um plus i was afraid okay. i was gonna like be dying of a heat stroke like in seattle when it was just really yes, hot yeah, they, horrendous. So yeah. but but yeah. it flowed so smoothly. All these things we were stressed yeah. out about that just the flow was great. Like she managed to make that work 
and work well. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, okay. Like, Other than that, no. I can't think of anything. What else do you want yeah. to talk about? <laughs> Oh, yeah, good. Thank Your you. channel's wonderful so though. Much. You're doing really well. Like it's such a good channel to watch. I look forward to to my I go, yes, oh, there's a bestie coming on. Jeff will go, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna just quickly watch my bestie. Hang on. <laughs> he hears the hi. <laughs> I'm here with my bestie Mandy, and he goes, Oh, again. And I'm like, yes, they do them all the time. I'm watching them again. <laughs> not the same <laughs> one. I'm not watching Jeff. the same. I know you've sent pictures before. You watch us on like the big screen TV. I do. That is I a would. lot of Jessica and Mandy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I it think is. one of my favorite comments you ever gave us was I got this koala from you. Mm -hmm. And yes, then you did. noticed it in our video and like commented <laughs> to your husband, like, oh, she yes. must know somebody from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, that's yes, a koala. You yeah. <laughs> just looked at it and went like, and I went, oh, he goes, do you not think that might have been the one you gave them? <laughs> oh, it's true. They look heaps like the ones I gave. Yes. And then I yeah. noticed the koala was moving into different spots. I'm, yes. I used to watch the koala all the time. Oh, the koala's moved. <laughs> That's cool. now. And I do look for my books. I can see my books above your head there somewhere. So I often look for them and I go, oh, yeah, there they are. Cool. Yep. And uh, mine are over on the bookshelf that's by my bed. So everything's over on that side because I oh, just okay. have this one little section that I can put a book <laughs> I don't have room over there. And I have to plug into the Wi-Fi. Like I have an adapter that goes into my phone. I have to plug directly in because otherwise my phone picks up the Canadian towers and then it's a mess. So I can't go anywhere else oh. in the house. I don't have room to put books anywhere else. So we get the little bookshelf. Oh, okay. Jeff, but, um, I was also going to ask too, this is the one I forgot to ask. So when you went and did the Gold Coast, you got to meet Grace McGinty, but who else did you get to meet? Who else was there? Oh, yes. Who yeah. else? I was kind of, I actually went looking for Grace McGinty because I knew that she was a big fan. You were a big fan of hers. And yeah. and I'd also been down to, just before Christmas, I'd called into um, Elle Thorpe's, since I just called into yeah. Elle Thorpe's house. Um, but I, I did because she, we, she, we were down that way and she invited me over to have a look at her new office that she's got. Um, mm -hmm. And she mentioned something about, oh, this is the room we're trying to get Grace McGinty, McGinty to uh, rent off us because she rents out rooms in her house for other authors to write in and mm -hmm. she lives about three hours away four hours away but from me so and I went oh okay so I didn't realize that Ellen knew Grace as well so I, I made a point of going to see her while we were up there when she was absolutely lovely she was really <laughs> sweet and um who else was there across from Montana Ash was right across from her I don't know if you've okay. read any of her books she's a strange author as well um I don't think they have and I must say that I think I messaged you, Jessica, and saying T.L. Swan was there and she was, I didn't even realise that she was the author to start with. I hadn't ever actually seen her face. And this lady just happened to come up and she was walking along every single author. She came up, hi, my name's Terry. How are you? I'm so lovely to meet you. And I said, oh, that's lovely. And she looked at my books and she went to the next lady and then she went to the next lady and off she went. And then next thing I looked over and she was standing over in the corner signing books. She had a line up halfway down the, down the aisle and I thought, oh my God, that's the that's T.L. Swan. I didn't even realize, but she was so sweet to come and say hello to everyone. It's not like she thought, you know, I'm going to have an enormous yeah. lineup here and you've got one or two people standing at your table. And she was just lovely. So, other than that, um, I'm trying to think. Carmel, is it Carmen Jenner? She was next to me. Okay. She's an Australian author as well. Probably a lot of Australian authors. There were there weren't like a lot of really big name authors like say in you know in the Seattle and Vegas ones. Mm -hmm. um, but it was it was a great event. I must admit, everyone for things I didn't. Everyone went home with COVID. Um, I didn't get COVID. Thank goodness. It must have been like ninety percent of the authors and readers. Everyone went home with COVID. But it was a great event. She did a really good job putting it on. She, she okay. Alana Jade did that one, and she did a beautiful job. Yeah. 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 I love that. I think yeah. that's so cool. I love that you and Grace, I mean, I, I've said it before, but I love that you and Grace, like, like you made a point to find her and she says yes. you were absolutely lovely. You say that she was absolutely lovely. So oh, I love so that. Like she and I, were, uh, so I said to her, can we get a photo? Cause like, I just want to prove, cause I actually hadn't met her before. I didn't even know what she looked like. I was just looking at tables and when I saw her, then I introduced myself and I said, I believe like, I said, do you know, you know, Jessica? And she's like, Yes, of course I do. How, how do you know her? And then we we chatted for a while and I went from there. Mm -hmm. So it was really nice. Yeah. yeah. And she was really, really sweet. Yeah. I think that's so cute. Find Look at us bridging some gaps here. I know. <laughs> Look at that. Across the globe. Yeah. I mean, I know you guys write so differently, but 
I also have told Mandy before, I'm like, is it something in the water in Australia? Because both authors, like both of you guys write, like it's just, your books are easy to get into and mm -hmm. the flow is just there. And you both have that. I'm like, it's gotta be in Australia. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Thank you yeah. so much. Or it's just just a you guys thing, but I I like to. Yeah, <laughs> she was thing. sweet. She was really lovely. Yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah, she was really sweet. That everyone was. Everyone, everyone that was there. There wasn't. It was just one of those events. You know, sometimes there's always sort of something that happens, or someone stands out of the crowd. And yeah, no, it was just one of those events where everything flowed really well, and it was just really smooth sailing. And she was, yeah, lovely people there. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right, man. Is that all we got? I think so. Thank you. Oh, okay. so, thank you so much, Karen, for oh, coming okay. on and being our first author <laughs> and also for your support of our channel and for just oh, being oh. such a fabulous writer. So thank you oh, so much. That's mm -hmm. very sweet of you. Thank you. Yeah. No, I, I can't can't tell you enough how much I appreciate all, all the support you've given me as well. Um, just recommending books and talking about my books and publishing, you know, um, on social media, that sort of thing, talking about them. So it, it means the world when you don't have a massive following to have mm -hmm. someone talking about your books that could lead to new to new readers all the time. That's all you're looking for in this industry. So, yeah, yeah no, I appreciate it very, very much. Your channel's fab fabulous. And well, yeah. I love that you don't always promote big name authors, that you're looking for that little indie author somewhere that's written their little book and they're happy to, and they've written mm -hmm. a great book or, you know, whatever, and you can share about it. So. Yeah, no, fabulous job, girls. Yeah, well, well thank, thank you. you. <laughs> no, so, yeah, you've got great books. You definitely deserve it. Oh, so. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. You're okay. Great. Well, you're probably going to go have lunch. We're getting ready for bed. So, <laughs> yesterday, your time. Yes, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I love that. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you so much for having me. Thanks for being here. Oh, we should yes, just do so this. Um, we should do this every weekend. We should just. just I love it. Yes. Yeah. yes, I know. Um, so, Mandy, do you want to sign us off, and then we can end the recording, and then if we need to talk, we can talk. Sure. So, no. <laughs> leave us a comment below. Thank you, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. We hope you enjoyed our interview with Karen Crompton, and make sure you check back on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays for new videos from us. That's a wrap, guys. We'll see you in the next one.